daddy. Today on review, we are looking at Twisted Metal for the PlayStation 3. Twisted Metal have had an interesting one over the last couple of decades, mainly being settled to Sony, which might be Twisted Metal 1 through 4, or the handheld, or the great Twisted Metal Black for the PS2. Twisted Metal is a long-running series of Call Combat, and here we are now, a couple years later, with it reboot to try to bring Twisted Metal back. And the question is, did they actually pull off a good Twisted Metal game? And the answer is... Kinda. Called the story of Twitter Metal is you follow the adventure of three characters, Fleet 2, Mr. Grimm, and Darfate, which eat character every couple level, giving you a live action cutscenes on blue screen. Like some come off darker than others, some are just cheesy and convoluted at best in some scenario, but Outside of that, of course, the story is the Twisted character entering Twisted Metal Call Combat Tournament, and whoever wins will get a wish from a Quipso, a devil-type character, of giving them anything to desire if they can win. The only issue is that most of the time, his wish granting ability is not exactly what they want, which adds a great mythical story plot to the overall universe of Twisted Metal, and of course, it will kill and end it perfectly fine. The issue the story in Twisted Metal is of course a lot of the characters have been removed. The vehicles are still there, but you only have three characters to play as. And you have one or two that shows up in the cutscenes, but sadly you never actually get to play as them. And on top of the cutscenes, it only a handful of cases you will actually see actual voice acting. Mostly everything is dubbed over, which is perfectly fine and hold back on the chief factor just a tad. But bet to be gr grinding your teeth together a couple times, I was just pretty irritation and cheesiness in this. And they bring it to the game itself. The gameplay of Twitter Metal haven't really changed all that much since the original Twitter Metal. You pick up weapon, you kill everyone, you win. But they have added a few more game mode to it. Now you of course have wasted which you have to kill everybody by putting bombs on it and whoever get the full plate will detonate everyone else and you will win. They will also have it where it's just straight up wasting where you gotta get to the end of the track in fourth place and once you do you kill whoever remaining. You have cage matches which you have an area of each map be moving around at constant weight and you have to stay in that area to fight because if you're outside the area for too long health will be drained. And then of course you have the straight up death mat combat. But that's not just the only gameplay you have in Twitter Metal. The way they handle life and then in Pat Twitter Mail you will have how many life to beat everybody. This time around you have the ability to pick up to three characters or three cards with level of uh switching out building put in random places of the level. If you get two damage you go, you switch out your card, you get another one, and in time your plat a pack card will be re energized. And it adds it night mix and map feature and just adapting to whatever you competing at at the moment and help it from getting extremely frustrating. But sadly it still gets frustrating. That just help. The frustration in this come from mainly some of the bot fights and some of the level just seem a little overpowered. Mainly the one where you having to fight Juggernaut which in D level you have to hunt down that vehicle and destroy it because every couple of minutes he will find a distant car to fight with you. And in return if you do not do it fast enough you will get many 20, 30 car fighting you and only you. And it's the most frustrating thing you will ever witness because these vehicles have way too much power and they throw way too many enemies at you for that. And then some of the bot fights, it, don't get me wrong, they are interesting bot fights. Might it be fighting a mech, fighting a giant uh, truck. They are nice to look at in overall gameplay mode. It's just some of them are a little convoluted for what you need to do for the bot fight and drag on a bit. Too long. But outside the single player of Twitter Metal Court, you have multiplayer. With multiplayer carry over pretty much everything from this. With all the vehicles, all the levels, and this is where Twitter Metal shines. Twitter Metal Court have over 12 maps here, which e every map can be modification down to if you want to block off certain parts of the map and take all that information online. You can change out weapon, map location, vehicle setting, so on. It, add a great sense of customization when it comes to this. The only real issue here is some of the bet game mode from the single player do not carry over such a K match and wasting. This is mainly just straight up depth match overall. But as far of offline co-op here, of course you have up to four player quick screen which we haven't seen in a while, which had the same ability as online setting up game. And overall the game is fun if you got friends to play with or you have people to play with online. I can't recommend it enough for that, 
but if you playing Twisted Metal just as a single player game, this is not a cakewalk by any means. You will be frustrated and in many cases want to troll your remote, which is kind of sad. It seems fairly unbalanced in places, which maybe it will be fixed one of the day, but as of now, single player is just too frustrating. I recommend the multiplayer at best. And just know, you have to buy a season pack to actually play the multiplayer without you buy the game new, just so you know. So overall, I give Twisted Metal a 2 out of 5. Have won the battle. We shall tear down your tower of sin!